Hello fellow book nerds, Emmy Walker here today to do a book review on Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. And this one is about a girl uh, who is set to go to the executioner's block but is instead given the option to become the commander's food taster. So basically she still possibly could die, it's just gonna stretch out her life. And uh, so then we follow her on after she makes the decision to become the food taster. So for me, I really did enjoy this book. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. The book was good, it was not great. There's nothing about it that really wowed me. I felt like I read a similar book recently, The uh, the Sin Eater's Daughter, and it had a very similar feel, uh, the world at least, and the same kind of like poison, you know, aspect. There's, the story itself was really nothing alike, but it had a similar world feel to that one. But still, this one here didn't really do anything for me in the, you know, wow factor. What did work was that the premise was well executed and I really enjoyed the characters. I felt that they weren't just stock. They didn't... they weren't all exactly the same. Uh, even the background characters, they had different personalities, I found, or even different, not necessarily personalities, but even just different characteristics that I could pinpoint that when they, that same character was brought up later, I didn't have to think, oh, who was this person and who did, who did that? And they had a, a, at least enough unique characteristics that I didn't have to be concerned over, like, who is this person and why am I even caring about them? What I found difficult with this novel was my feelings for Yelena. See, I, I couldn't really connect to her, at least not for at least halfway through the book. I feel like, I know she was set to die, so she kind of had just kind of given up, I guess, at a point, but I felt she just was very flat in the beginning. She did nothing to make me care for her. I feel like I should have been concerned that she was potentially going to die in that beginning. I mean, we all know she's not going to because it says so in the back, but I still want to be worried for her, and she's just kind of... And I didn't like that. I didn't like that I didn't care for her, and I didn't like that I wasn't concerned for her until way into the book, much longer than it should have taken. It was nice to read a female protagonist who didn't immediately swoon over her male counterpart, I guess, um, the guy that she's basically around all the time. It was really nice to see that. You tend to see a lot of YA uh, women just kind of immediately looking at the, oh, he's so handsome and I love him so much and blah, blah, blah. Just shut up, okay? And I know they don't all do that, I get that, but it's, it's nice to get it every once in a while. Um, and she also she had enough spirit and enough drive to become independent and to protect herself, which was nice. I, I liked that she really wanted to show others that she could take care of herself, even though she was essentially going to die soon from some poison that may or may not have affected the or been sent for the com commander. There was just simply something. I can't even really put my finger on it um, other than the fact that she kind of fell flat for me. There was just something about her that it took a long time for me to connect to her. And I wish I could pinpoint it exactly, but I, I really can't. I think maybe it was just the fact that she didn't... She didn't. She kept herself from a distance from the people around her. No, she didn't. That's not true, because she wanted to make friends. She wanted to make friends with all the people... Like, not all the people there, but she wanted to find a friend. At, so I don't know why I couldn't find her... Why I couldn't connect with her. I don't know why it took so long. But I finally did eventually. It just took longer, like I said. Also, the writing itself was a little bit awkward at times. Uh, I can't go into too much with that because of the spoil. I have there's spoilers involved with that, but basically there was just points that kind of bugged me when it came to the writing, um, certain things, certain dialogue that was delivered. Uh, it was yeah. <laughs> now this is the first book in a series, and there's a lot of information thrown at us and a lot of different kind of side things going on that I assume will eventually kind of fan out and not be so daunting, but. For the first book, I felt very overwhelmed with a lot of different stuff being thrown at us, which is typical of a, of a first book for, you know, a series, for most series. It's just it was a lot, and yeah. My overall impression of this book is positive, and I do look forward to reading the rest of the series. I already have the second book, and I recently purchased the fourth book in the series. I found it at a uh, bookstore, but I still need to get the third one and the others. But. I didn't want to let the fourth one go because it's not one of those books that I think would sit on the shelf for very long, and it's not a, uh, the half-price books doesn't always have the same books in stock. Yeah, so those are my. Oh wait a second, I forgot about my. Uh, the, the biggest thing that drove me nuts about this book is the constant rat metaphors. Every other page, it felt like she was calling herself a rat, or she felt like a rat trapped in a cage, or the other person was calling her a rat, or she had a rat, like a mouse in her belly or something. She's constantly, constantly, constantly used the rat metaphor, and I wanted to be like, please pick 
another metaphor, seriously. Like, really? Is there not another, at least another animal you could use? Like, a bird in a cage? I mean, birds are trapped in cages too, and so are, you know, some poorly cared for dogs. I don't know, but seriously, why only a rat? Like, I get that rats are, you know, thought to be gross. They're not. They're actually kind of cute if you get them as pets. I mean, when you see them on the subway in New York, I'm sure you don't want to see them there, but anyway, um, seriously, pick another metaphor. Once or twice, just throw one in there for me that's not a rat. But yeah, so I do look forward to reading this book, despite the rat metaphor and my in initial reluctance to feel concerned for Yelena, which is our main character. I don't know if I mentioned her first name. Uh, let me know down below if you've also read Poison Study and your thoughts on it. Uh, I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later, book nerds.